All right, well, welcome everyone. Welcome to our team huddle for October the 13th. And um, I love seeing all these faces on here this evening. And for those of you who I have not met yet, I'm trying to look around and see who's all on here. But my name is Kim Cardenas. I am Regional Vice President and Arbonne Independent Consultant. And I am just so excited to have each and every one of you guys on tonight. And thank you so much for giving up about 30 minutes of your Sunday evening. But plugging into our team huddles is so important because this is how you learn how to do Arbonne. And we just take 30 minutes on Sunday nights to, to um, to share some information with you that will help you grow your Arbonne business. And so for the, the first thing I want to just cover quickly tonight is that if you don't know, I'm telling you now, we are halfway through the month, okay? So we are midpoint, midway through the month. And so what you need to do when you're midway through the month is that you need to look at the activity that you have on your calendar for the rest of the month and and determine are you where you need to be are you where you need to be based on the goals that you put out at the beginning of the month you know do you need to increase your activity do you need to add some activity to your calendar to reach your goals because remember we don't change our goals we increase our activity to reach the goal because most of our Arbon business don't really start to get up and get moving, get really generated with um, activity and QB until the second half of the month. So, um, so don't change your don't change your activity. I mean, don't change your goals. Increase your activity to reach your goals. And if you are a new consultant on here, and again, I want to welcome you guys who are new. It's so important to plug in and thank you for plugging in. But um, activity is the key to our business. And we're going to talk a little bit about what activity looks like um, tonight. So what is activity? If you need to increase the amount of your activity, what do you exactly need to do? Well, you can host a healthy happy hour. You can have somebody host a healthy, healthy happy hour for you. You can, if you're a new consultant, doing your launch events is activity. Doing dream team Zooms, whether you're a new consultant or you're I don't want to call you an old consultant, but an established consultant. Dream Team Zooms are also considered activity. One-on-one -on -one coffee dates where you're talking to people about Arbonne products or you're talking to people about the Arbonne opportunity. Um, also, any other kind of party or event that you want to have is also activity. If you want to do um, some type of wrinkles and wine where you talk about Arbonne's um, skincare, um, you know, you can name them all different kinds of things. You can do sip and shops with the holiday line. You can do all kinds of different types of little events or parties. And that's considered activity because what do we do in activity? We're exposing people to the Arbonne products and we're exposing people to the Arbonne opportunity. That's how we build our Arbonne businesses by doing those simple things. And then also one of the most important things that you can do to build your Arbonne business is asking people to join the next 30 days to healthy living. And so our next 30 days to healthy living starts October 21st. And then the one after that starts November the 4th. So the October 21st, 30 days to healthy living, the Facebook group actually opens tomorrow. I'll be adding all of you guys to that group tomorrow so that you can then enroll your, um, your preferred clients or your, your clients who sign up for that program. You can actually put them in there. So that is what activity looks like. It's very, our businesses are very simple. We focus on one or two, maybe three activities. And we, we do those just over and over again um, to build our teams and build our businesses. And so with that being said, I have asked Stacy to um, share a little bit with us this evening because she did on one of our boxer groups, and I don't remember which one, she talked about, you know, Arbonne has a new, in, has an incentive this month, and, you know, it's just for the month of October, and it's free sign up 
for preferred clients and consultants. And if you use the verbiage that Stacy's going to talk about, it sounds so much better. And so if you're trying to get somebody on the 30 days to healthy living, this is perfect verbiage you can use. And if you're asking people to join your team now, this is perfect verbiage you can use. And this month we should be filling up our 30 days to healthy living and we should be adding you know, one, two, three new consultants to our team with the free sign up. So Stacy, I'm going to turn it over to you and let you share. Okay. I can't even remember what I said, but, <laughs> um, so Brenda got, Brenda brought it up and she said, um, hang on, let me tell my kids to be quiet. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Um, Brenda brought it up and she said, um, you know, it's, it's, it gets really confusing for people when you go, hey, we've got free sign up this month. Um, you just have to spend this much in retail, which amounts to this much, which would be actually be out of your pocket. Um, and it, they just get like, they hear too many numbers. And so a lot of times when I'm talking to people about, hey, Brenda, a lot of times when I'm talking to people about um, the free sign up, I'll say, if you spend 120, because 150 QV for them as a PC is going to be 120 um, in dollar amount. And so if you spend 120 this month, you get, you know, a free sign up fee. And um, also on your next order of 120 in the next couple months, you'll get a free gift. Um, or if you spend, um, what's, what is the 250 mark? Would it be 200 for PCs? If you spend 200 this month, you get a free gift and free sign up, you know, immediately. Um, or for the consultants, if you spend 325, um, you don't say if you do 500 QV times 0.35, you know, is going to be this much off and it's going to end up. No, just don't give them the QV amount. Just give them the dollar amount. You spend 325, you get free consultant um, instead of $49 consultant fee this month. Um, and so I think that's a really good way to get people going and, and always offer them, Hey, but if you spend, you know, a couple more, you're going to get a free gift. So always offer them that when they're signing up to be a PC. And I think that's about all I said. Is that, it? is that all I said, Kim? That's perfect. That's perfect. I just wanted you to really throw out those numbers because yeah, yeah it's so confusing when we, when we give them what the QV is, the retail price is. And so just keep it simple. Like, like Stacy said, and you know, it's 120, um, spend 120 and your preferred client fee is waived this month, you know, and, and so they'll spend the 120. So instead of telling them the 350 and then, you know, 500, is the, the QV that needs to be reached for a consultant to have the fee waived. And so if you say 325, that's so much more doable. And then also if they're, if they're going to join with an ASVP, they're really close to the three, to the 325 mark. So, you know, you can help them. You can throw some things in you know, in their order to help them reach the 325 mark if you want to, to help to get their um, consultant fee waived if you wanted to do that. So again, those are just some, some techniques and different verbiage to use when you're um, asking people to jump in as a preferred client or an independent consultant. All right, so now I wanted to talk about our 30 days to healthy living, you know, and, and what are we doing to promote this? Because um, when I was listening to a couple of the latest sound clouds, um, you know, and some of the information coming out from Arvon about 80% of all businesses, all Arvon independent consultants, about 80% of the consultants build their businesses mainly with nutrition, mainly with the 30 days to healthy living. Okay. Now, and so, I guess my question to you, to us is, we need to get our businesses up to that 80%. Now we're, you know, Arbonne loves for us to have a balanced business, but we know the 30 Days to Healthy Living program is the gateway into Arbonne, like the gateway drug, right? It's the gateway into getting people, you know, using Arbonne products, consistently and to jumping in as an Arbonne independent consultant. 
Okay, so we need to be promoting the 30 days to healthy living either better or more consistently because this needs to be a very big part of your business because when it's a big part of your business, your business is going to grow exponentially. So how are you promoting the program? How many people are you actually asking every month to join the 30 days to healthy living? We should, you know, we do two 30 days to healthy living every month. We run two programs every month and we should all have at least four to five people in every 30 days to healthy living program. So how many people do we need to ask? Personally, how many people do I need to ask to get eight to be doing the 30 days to healthy living? And actually for me to get eight, my percentage, and everybody's is going to be a little bit different. And, you know, the longer you've been at Arbonne, the better verbiage we're using, you know, the, the little bit easier it's going to be for us to get people on the 30 days to healthy living. But it takes me asking about 100 people, about 100 people every month asking them to join the 30 days to healthy living. And so you might ask, well, how do you know a hundred people to ask? Well, remember our hundred person list is always growing. So every time I meet somebody new, they're going on my hundred person list. And then also I use social media, you know, a lot to help me because, you know, people post on social media, you know, if, if they're interested in losing weight or they need to feel better. And so I private message people that I have built a relationship with on social media. I private message them and let them know about the 30 days to healthy living program. So again, you know, how many people are you actually asking to join the 30 days to healthy living? And a couple of statistics that um, Jamie and I were talking about today, because he, he read an article and there's some, some statistics that were pretty like, wow, wowing, like in your face. So in, let's see, since 2015, um, this is the first time in 2015, it was the first time Americans spent more money on going out to eat than they did on their weekly groceries okay in 2015 was the first time that people spent more money going out to eat than they did on their weekly groceries so what's that tell you people are eating fast food right lots of fast food and we all know that fast food is totally unhealthy and what we teach in our program is how to get people back to cooking for their families back to cooking you know, at home in that community, you know, of being at home with your family. So our program is not only, you know, <clears throat> weight loss, weight maintenance, healthy, you know, teaching healthy living. It's actually bringing community family back together, you know, by cooking in your homes and everybody sitting down to eat meals together. So that's another, you know, point that you can throw out there when you're talking to people about the 30 days to healthy living. Also, Portion size in restaurants quad, have quadrupled since 1960. Quadrupled. I mean, that's crazy, you know? And I was asking Jamie, I was like, why do you think the portion size is screwed? Well, people were trying to get more of the market share. You know, if you go to this restaurant and people talk to me, you, look at all the food you got, you know, we've got really big sizes, big portions. And that's why, you know, McDonald's started, you know, the larger French fries, the larger French fries. I worked at McDonald's from the time I was 15 to 18. And back then they didn't have the big red bucket of French fries. They just had the little white, paper envelope of french fries you know so it's kind of interesting why they had to you know make them bigger but that was just to draw in more people to their restaurant but what has that all done i mean it has in, you know it has increased the amount of people being overweight and, and obese because of the large portion sizes all right and then again there are two billion people who are overweight or obese in our world right now so there are so many people because we know obesity leads to un, to poor health. And what is our program? 30 days to healthy living. We teach people how to get back to healthy living, or they may not even know how to live healthily. So we, we help educate them on living a healthy lifestyle. And so what's most important on getting people to jump into the 30 days to healthy living is your enthusiasm, my enthusiasm, when I'm talking to people about the, this program, it's my enthusiasm and my conviction that's going to sell it, that's going to get people to join in. 
So if you've not done a 30 days to healthy living recently, you need to jump back in on in one of the Octobers or the November um, 30 days to healthy living so that you can get excited about it again. So you can get into the know of what it is actually to experience it because that's what sells this program is your enthusiasm and your conviction that this program works. And this program we have had across all of our bond and globally, there has been hundreds of thousands and hundreds of thousands of people who have gone through this program who had, who had as it, who it has completely changed their lives, okay? And each one of you has a story to tell about the 30 Days to Healthy Living. You know, how it's changed your life and your family's life. We need to be sharing these stories when we're talking to people because remember, stories sell. You know, it's the stories, not the individual products, not the data, but it is the stories that you can share about your experience and about your family's experience that will actually, um, that it will actually encourage people to jump in this program with you. All right. And so in, one last thing about the 30 Days to Healthy Living, also really focus on the community aspect of it, that they're not going to be doing this program alone, that you're going to be walking with them by the hand because you're going to be coaching them. You're going to be talking to them several times a week. You're going to be uh, texting them. You're going to be checking in on them. You're going to be sending them your own tips and recipes along with everything else that they get in the 30 Days to Healthy Living Facebook group. So let them know that they become a part of a larger community and that that Facebook group will always stay open, that they will always have access to that information that is in that Facebook group. And so that will encourage a lot of people to join um, the program many times. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is I wanna jump to personal development because this is another very important part of building our um, Arbonne businesses. And so, you know, we, it's personal development, it's self-training and it's empowerment. These are all things we put under the, the, the umbrella of personal development and plugging in to team huddles like this, to Zooms like this, is a really big part of learning how to do Arbonne and learning how to do it well. You know, we learn from those who are out there building their businesses. We learn from those who have gone before. And so that's why we encourage you to jump on these Zooms um, every week because you are going to, there is going to be something that is said here tonight that you can take with you tomorrow and the next week and use to build your Arbon business. And so it's really important to plug in. And again, this is a, another example of community. When you're building your Arbon business, you are the CEO of your business, but you're not out there by yourself building your business. You're part of a larger team and we all empower each other. We all help each other build um, Arbon businesses like the verbiage that Stacy just passed on to us. I mean, if you have not been using that, jump on it tomorrow. And so because you were on here tonight, I pretty much guarantee that by using that verbiage, you will get somebody to join your, your 30 Days to Healthy Living next week. You will get somebody to join your business or become a preferred client with you next week because you use that verbiage. So why wouldn't you plug in every Sunday night to learn something that's going to up your game every time you start you start your your new work week on Monday. All right, um, and then you know again I just want to say this is not a business that you can build alone. You can sell product alone, you know, because the products pretty much sell themselves. But if you are wanting to promote through the levels in Arbonne, if you are wanting to use Arbonne as your vehicle to make your dreams come true, then being a part of the team will empower you to, to be able to ask other people to join your team because you're not asking them 
just to join you. You're asking them to become a part of this bigger community. And, you know, you've heard the saying, you know, it takes a village. And in Arvon, it takes a village to promote up through the levels. And so it's not just about you. It's about all of us doing well together. So again, plugging in and doing the self-trainings and becoming empowered is so important to, you know, to using Arbonne to be that vehicle to, to make your, your, your dreams, your life that you want to live come true. And so now as speaking to that, I have also asked Kelly to speak tonight. Is Kelly on here? Yeah, Kelly's on here. It's Kelly to talk tonight because um, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I know for a fact that Kelly Kruger has listened and watched every RVP to B call that has been put out there. There's 13 calls that have been put out there. And remember those calls were put out there that if you listen to everyone, if you listen to each one every week and you did the work that was given out every week that by the end of December, you would be, um, on your way to being an RVP, you know, that you will have, if you've done the work consecutively, like they had the homework, that you would be on your way to be an RVP by, by the end of December. Now, most of us, and I will say, and they even said this on, I can't remember which, um, which one of the, um, the, the, the RVP to be's I was listening to, but they even said, the speaker said, Oh, there's not quite as many people on here tonight. They're starting to fall off. And then they congratulated the people that were still plugging in. And so it's not to say that you can't use this information because I will be, in all honesty, I have not watched all 13. But I do know Kelly has because Kelly would send me a text or a Voxer and say, can you make sure that last one's posted? Can you make sure it's posted? Because she was waiting for it. And I am so proud of you, Kelly, for really keeping up with those. But this RVP to be Facebook group is now open to everybody. Every, anybody who wants to get in this group can get in this group. If you're not in it and you want to be in it after, after you hear Kelly speak, let your sponsor know and your sponsor will add you to this RVP to be group. And that each topic, and this is what I've asked Kelly to tell us what the topic was, the speaker, the topic, and just give like a two sentence overview of it. So you can write them down. And so when you go back into the group, you can listen, pick and choose the ones that you want to listen to. Because again, this is self-training in our bond. I mean, we get together weekly, but if you really want to build your business and build it big and build it quickly, you're going to have to do some self-training on your own. And I highly recommend listening to these RVP to be calls because you don't have to be in our bond for a long time for these calls to make sense. There actually were, um, they were recorded for people at the consultant level to build all the way up to RVP, RVP level, to regional vice president level by the end of December. And so if you listen to these calls and you do the homework that is given at the end of each call, your business is going to grow exponentially. All right. So I am going to throw it over to Kelly. Kelly, thank you so much for being on target, on time, and just really, you know, um, plugging into these um, RVP to B calls. I'm so proud of you for doing that. Well, thanks, and thanks for asking me to speak tonight, and I found them so valuable. I will say the homework was really aggressive, and I did maybe 30%, maybe 20%, but I'll, I'll finish up with the homework here in a second. Um, there were 13 calls, and the first call was really an introductory call. So there were a few different of the key NVP and NVP um, leaders that just spoke a little bit about what we would, what we were up for, what and, and inviting us on to the RVP um, series. And then it was followed up by Cecilia Stoll introducing the book that we would be reading, the personal development book. The 21 Indispensable Qualities of a Leader by John Maxwell. So each of the calls, each of the weeks, Cecilia would close the call with 
um, uh, an overview of the two chapters that were assigned for that week. In that first introductory call, we also got um, several really wonderful scripts from Cecilia directly on how to reach out to individuals and specifically how to reach out with an offer to watch a video to kind of move them along to a business builder level. So that was the first week. And then um, the second week, July 18th, was Christy Moses. And her focus was really on adding new business partners, how to talk with folks and lead with the business and bring on business builders. She also talked a little bit about how to relaunch your business. So we've, Kim even referenced tonight, launching new consultants, but all of us can relaunch ourselves at any time. So there were some really good tips there. Um, she also referenced that on Cecilia Stoll's website, um, she, there is a checklist for business builders that we can utilize, and it's a good one. I've, I've been up there to look at it. It's good. Um, then the third call on July 25th was Peyton Schreibner, and she spoke about commitment and consistency. Um, and she, one of the quotes that she gave, this is direct from her, I loved it. She said, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. So then call number four was July 31st, that was Susan Kilborn. And her title was Activity Fixes Everything. I tell you, you have to have pen and paper. She, although there were scripts that she sent out later in written form, but she read through them all for us to get a flavor. And there's probably six different scripts that she provided for different, for a variety of just getting us in activity, one-on-ones um, -on -ones and inviting people to come to a healthy happy hour. And there's just a variety. So if you need scripts, um, listen to call number four, July 31st, with Susan Kilborn. Um, she, she closed that session with a great quote that I wrote down and I want to share with you. You probably won't be able to write quite as quickly. I went back and back and back and back and caught all the words. Um, so she said, watch your thoughts because they become words. Watch your words because they become actions. Watch your actions because they become habits. Watch your habits because they become character. And watch your character because they become your destiny. <clears throat> so call number five was on August 7th, and that was Kat, I'm not gonna be able to say her last name, Ter Terrison. She's a young, she's very young, uh, millennial. And she talked a lot about the 30 in 30 challenge, which all of us have done at some point. She's also provided a script for um, asking folks to be one of the 30 in the 30 uh, for 30, 30 and 30 challenge. Um, and she suggests that we lead with the business always and never ever to prejudge people. Talk to everyone you know, talk to them about everything you know about Arbonne and don't prejudge. And then here was a really great quote, quote from her. She's, um, and this is how to follow up after you've talked to somebody about a 30 in 30, is um, she says, it's a process. It's not a single event. So follow up is a process. It's not a single event. <clears throat> call number six was August 14th. We all on this call on the region Zoom, um, one of the weeks, talked specifically about this call. This was Tracy Dyer, and it was promoting and coaching the 30 days to healthy living. So it fits in great with what Kim was saying tonight. She distributed then the 30 days to healthy living tracker that she's developed for her nation. Um, and we've all seen that. I mean, it came out in our region group as well, but it's up on the RVP to be as well. Um, and she talked about really coaching into the 30 days to healthy living, but then using that tracker to at some point shift that coaching from being in the 30 days to becoming a consultant and teaching them how to coach other people to come into the 30 days. So she really has a, a wonderful system and they have a really high percentage of maintaining their 30, uh, 30 days to healthy living people to come into the business. So it was a really, if you're really focusing as Kim says, we want this region to be on 30 days to healthy living, that's gonna be a key call. That's number six on August 14th. 
And then the seventh was August 21st, Katie Katz. And she talked about having one-on-one -on -one meetings, the belly-to-belly -belly meetings, we sometimes call them. She says the number one goal of those one-on-one -on -one meetings is to change lives and to find business builders. And that one-on-one -on -one meetings allow us to get personal and to paint the vision. And she really encouraged, she even challenged us to get out from hiding behind social media that you really have to do most of these one on you really have to do one-on-ones to further the vision so what i loved about this particular call it was really helpful for me is that she brought in one of her rvps and they did a role play specifically about how she got that particular rvp to join the business and um so they they used very similar verbiage to what was actually going on in that initial meeting so i found that helpful to see it play out in that way and then call number eight, August 28th, was Amanda Casey. And she talked about having successful group events. And she, she threw out this. She said her goals always, from every group event that she hosts or that someone hosts for her, she expects to walk away by sponsoring one PC and one business builder. And then she always um, also always expects to schedule one to two other hosted events from that one that she's in that day. So one to two, one PC, one business builder, and one to two events. Call number nine was on September 4th, and that was Avery McCain. And I'm given the dates because when you go up to the Facebook group, you'll see that they're not in order, number order. So you may have to scroll a little bit and it may help you to look for dates as well. So September 4th is number nine, that was Avery McCain. And she spoke about the seven things to keep in mind when sharing our life on social media. And there were seven things, and I wrote them all down, but I'm not going to share them here. Um, so if you're interested in social media, then that is one that you'll definitely want to look for. Okay, so call number 10. We're getting there. September 18th was Brittany Trent. She, this was, this was a kind of a soft, um, I found it extremely valuable. Kim and I talked about this one. Kim didn't find it quite as valuable. It was a little bit soft. It wasn't a lot of tips. It wasn't a lot of challenges. It wasn't any scripts. But she is an MVP that went from independent consultant, launching as an independent consultant the month that she started law school. And she was an MVP exactly one year later. The following September, she was an MVP. So she just talked about her journey, what it took. She talked about each level of management. So what she loved about being a district manager, what she loved about being an area manager, an RVP, and now she's a recent um, NVP. So, so it was I, I, at my level, at my amount of time that I've been in Arbonne, I found that really valuable to hear someone else's journey in that way, in that very specific way. Um, call number 11 was September 25th, Ashley Strong. She gave us the ABCs and the one, two, threes of an Arbonne business, which I love. So the ABCs are activity, belief, and commitment. And the one, two, threes, <coughs> she, she um, requires herself and she suggests for her team that they do five uh, connections a day and she talks of course of on all of these she talks about what those connections can be but five connections a day four asks a day three social media um, posts per day two events per week and then one win every day so she says at the end of the day when she puts her head on the pillow she thinks through and it will be a successful day for her. Even if she didn't do the asks or the connections, she just didn't get to it. If she had one win, if she helped somebody feel better about themselves that day, or she had one win, um, then, then she feels like it was a successful day in her business, in her Arbonne business. Call number 12 was October 2nd. That was Liz Nicholson. Uh, she's a relatively new MVP, and she talked about activity. She gave us a, um, I just lost the word, 
when you spell out activity and then there's something that follows each of the letters, um, lots Absolutely. of words. Anyway, she gave us that. And then she also gave us five parts to an ask, which are, what do I need? What time frame do I need it in? Why I thought of them for this ask, what they get from it, and then the ask is the fifth thing. And then number 13 uh, is Cecilia Stoll the whole way through. So no other trainers. And she was just working with us on um, uh, personal development is how she, how she led into it. And it was finishing up the last three chapters of the book. Now I'll admit I haven't finished that Zoom. I had, um, we, we worked on three chapters and I had read two of them. I hadn't finished with the third. And so I stopped her training at the third so that I could read the chapter first and then I'll go back and listen to it. So she may give some great tips or something at the very end. I'm not sure. Maybe Kim, you've listened to that one, but I don't, you know, I, I so I can't speak fully to that one yet. Um, and I just, I want to mention that, and I, I mentioned this before, just kind of my overview. So if it sounds like a lot to do the 13 calls, it is. It definitely is. The homework is aggressive. There's a lot to it. Um, I have done just a portion of it for sure. I, I, I'll own that. I, 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 uh, I admit it. But here's what I found so interesting is every week when they would start throwing out the homework and my eyes would get bigger and bigger and bigger, there were times where I would almost stop writing and think, I can't do that. I can't, I, that's not important for my, so just listening to myself talk and understanding where I was really feeling extremely challenged and writing it down anyway and putting a little star by those ones that really, really scared me has been the biggest growth, the biggest personal development through all these calls. So it's been great to get the scripts. It's been great to hear that motivation that, we, that we're so familiar with. But really watch yourself when you're going through these, these calls and, and notice what, what is striking you as, oh my gosh, I can't do that. When you're like leaning back in your chair, oh my gosh, that's too scary. Um, because I think that will be a growth moment for you. Kelly, thank you so much for your overview of the RVP to B call. So yeah, and I hope all of you guys wrote down what each call was and what it was about so that you can go back when you are in need of what am I going to listen to today, you can actually say, I can go back and listen because to one of those calls because out of all the information that's out there, these calls are gold. I mean, I listen to the sound clouds. I listen to all that stuff that's put out there and these calls, I mean, if you want to know how to build your Arbonne business, these are the calls. That's why they were put in the RVP to be um, call series is because this is exactly what you need to do to build your Arbonne business. And like Kelly said, some of it is, is really aggressive. It like is, is, you know, it's going to make you step out of your comfort zone to build your business. But how badly do you want to reach the top? How badly do you want to be an RVP or an MVP? Are you willing to step outside of your comfort zone? Are you willing to, to, to dedicate an hour a week to these calls and then doing the homework. I mean, you know, and, and fit it into your schedule. Uh, you know, I just highly recommend, I'm actually, I haven't listened to all of them. I'm going to listen to the ones that I haven't, but I'm actually going to go back and start from square one and listen to them all again, because you know, you miss bits and pieces and there'll be at different times the, the, um, trainings will speak to you differently. So, I mean, these, these calls are gold. This is, this is how you build your Arbonne business today. And so I highly recommend that everyone go through and um, listen, listen to them and, and don't let it scare you. I mean, even if you just pick out a few bits and pieces, a few nuggets, you will grow your business. Okay. Your business will grow. Even if you just pick out a few of the bits and pieces. And so, you know, when do you do personal development? When do you do this kind of things? Well, I will tell you when I do it, to give you some examples. When I run, I don't listen to music. When I work out, I don't listen to music. I listen to calls like this. And interesting enough, you know, many of them you need to take notes from, but I listen to them one time 
And then I go back and I listen to them again and take notes at on it that time. So, um, you know, so when you're driving is another great opportunity for you to um, listen to the calls. You know, when you're driving, uh, anytime, when you're cleaning house, you know, multitask, put your earbuds in, your phone in your back pocket and listen to the recording. So anytime that you can fit in, this is what we call personal development. It's going to help you grow your business. All right. So in closing, you know, I never go a Sunday night without talking about our daily method for success. Now I know we have some new um, consultants on here who, who have not been yet introduced to the, to the daily method for success. So I want to give this explanation for you guys, new independent consultants, what you need to be doing now to grow your business is you need to be scheduling and holding your launches. You need to be writing your 100 person list. You need to be scheduling and holding your dream teams and finding eight people <clears throat> to do the 30 days to healthy living. And you're going to do those things, just those things for the first month and probably the second month that you're, you're a new Arbonne independent consultant. After you have completed those things for two months, then the daily method for success is going to be your guidelines. It's all of our guidelines. This is what we do when we work our businesses. And again, you don't have to work your business every day, but the more consistent you are in working your business, either three times a week, four times a week, five times a week, you know, depending upon your urgency and how quickly you want to promote through the levels in Arbonne, this is the sheet you can follow that is an easy outline on what we do every day we work our Arbonne business. And so it's called the Daily Method for Success. And I will be later this week recording a training on the Daily Method for Success. So for those of you guys who are new, who need to really figure out what it is and what each part of it is, that recording will be put on our region Facebook page, the Sherfield and Cardenas region Facebook page, that recording will be found there. And um, when you're ready to um, watch that recording, your sponsor will tag you on that recording. That way you can find it easily and you can watch that recording. But I don't worry about the daily method for success until you've done your launches, you've done your dream team Zooms, and you have found eight people for two months in a row to join our 30 Days to Healthy Living. After that, you'll be ready to do, you'll be ready to settle down into what we do every day we work our business in, in, in doing the daily method for success. All right, so last month I did an incentive for the daily method for success. For, so for those people who um, I think filled out, I think I said 15 or more, 12 or more, I can't remember exactly what the number was, but we had three people and so I wanna congratulate you guys. It was Brenda, Sherry and Krista all completed the, the um, daily method for success. Um, October, I mean, not, not September. And so I will be sending out all recognition, all gifts tomorrow. It has taken me a long time because we're growing. Lots of people are being recognized and I was on vacation and then I had to restock my gifts and everything. So whoo, it's been a whirlwind of a week trying to get them all together, but they're all going out tomorrow. So congratulations to everybody. And so we will do another, um, incentive with the daily method for success and so again filling this out and so since this is mid-month and i know many of you have been working on it already and kudos to you but some of you guys who are new who want to do this okay who've been in the business long enough and you want to do this so your everybody's in the the, the incentive requirement is starting on 1014, so that's tomorrow, so they have to be dated starting on 1014, 14 or more daily methods for success from now to the end of the month. So it's from the 14th to the end of the month. So that just gives you four days you're not working your business. So how motivated are you to build your business? So um if you're relatively new and you want to do this, this is this is not hard. You just ask your sponsor for it and she will get you this sheet. And if you wanna be in on this incentive, hold on one second.
So this was this was the um, the incentive for the challenge winners. It's a um, Yeti cup with the Lifer and Arvon logo on it. So um, Sherry, Brenda, and Krista all get one of those. I don't know yet what um, we're getting for this month, but no, it will be as nice and as good as this cup is. And yeah, I only had um, four of those cups, so um, so three of them are going out. And so I'll find something else that's just as good. So that's the incentive for October 14 or more, and you get the and you'll get the. The, you'll earn the challenge. So anyway, that's it tonight. I just want to thank you guys all for plugging in and joining in on our, on our um, team huddle. And again, I didn't say this at the beginning, but I want to welcome all those new in consultants, all the new independent consultants that are on here tonight or those that will be watching um, the recording. This is how you learn how to do your Arbonne business. Besides this, work, working closely with your sponsor and doing your launches and your dream team Zooms. This is how you learn how to do the Arbonne business. And because Arbonne has new stuff almost weekly and monthly, you jump in on these um, weekly Zooms and that's how you learn how to do Arbonne. So again, thank you all to, for jumping in tonight. I'm going to turn up the recording and I'll stay on here if anybody has any questions.